I don't even know why I bother with that woman anymore. She probably can't even read at this point. But you gotta stick with your principles, Stanley. You gotta believe in something. Do what you think is right. Gosh darn it. Okay. My dearest nemesis Francine, you may be pondering why I haven't called in quite some time. If your brain is still capable of pondering things as decidedly wet as it must be, given your chosen lifestyle of alcoholism and misabuse of prescription pharmaceuticals. P-H-A-C. <clears throat> but it is for the sake of our daughter and not you that I am pinning this correspondence. I have not called because it is illegal and dangerous to leave the house. And also, there are no longer pay phones to be found anywhere. And as you know, I am decidedly against cellular technology. Speaking of technology, you may have heard, although I seriously doubt it, that Tesla has lost $14 billion over the last day because of tweets that Elon Musk has tweeted out. And if you have been paying attention, 14 billion corresponds with the number of states, 14, which have reopened. You cannot tell me that tweets have cost anyone any amount of money. This money was redirected by the shareholders to the governors of the states, one of whom is the governor of Georgia, Mr. Kemp who even had the audacity to admit so on the news. So I am enclosing two, tele two airplane tickets, one for you and one for Chloe, be to come here to Oregon where it is safe. No one is allowed to go anywhere without a mask. Oh no! My mask! Forgive me, me. I can't touch it. It won't go on. <laughs> if you do not receive this letter, please give my love and kind regards to Chloe. Sincerely, Stanley. Oh no.